Yeah. Okay, so let me uh, swing back over to the speaker uh, and change the subject um, to another issue around healthcare. And we have about 10 minutes left in our discussion. And I would invite anybody else to jump into this question. But um, the big news in healthcare um, this month is the announcement by Care New England uh, that they will pursue a definitive agreement to be acquired by Partners Healthcare in Boston. And Partners Healthcare is comprised of Mass General, the Brigham, other institutions. So we have a considerable presence here in the room today. We have folks from uh, Brown University. We have folks from Care New England and Partners, um, Lifespan, Prospect Medical Holdings, and others that have an interest in the outcome of this discussion um, with Brown and Prospect having a different point of view as to how hospital acquisition and who would be the best partners, um, a different point of view that's been expressed. So um, although the legislature doesn't have an immediate um, role in adjudicating this issue, it's, it's really a regulatory piece. Um, but it does beg the question, what are the salient issues today in healthcare when we're talking about um, hospitals that are in distress and the whole acquisition movement? So, speaker. Thank you, Lori. My biggest concern is that our healthcare system is strong and able to serve the needs of Rhode Islanders and produce the jobs in Rhode Island that it should be producing while providing that, the care to our citizens. Um, can New England is financially distressed. They need a partner. There's no question about it. And there, there's a lot of jobs there, and our citizens depend upon them. So um, the, the only real question from my perspective is who is the appropriate partner? They've, they've teamed up with, um, with uh, partners. And so we'll see, we'll, see what, um, we'll see what happens. I am concerned that all of the specialty care uh, could, in fact, find its way into Massachusetts where they have high reimbursement rates. Now, I've, I've been assured by some that, that it would not, in fact, be the case and that uh, the medical doctors are not going to encourage uh, their patients to drive further than they need to to get appropriate care. But from a Rhode Island standpoint, we have to be concerned about our comprehensive health care system. And right now we have two systems. Uh, lifespan in Care New England, and it's in our interest that they both re remain strong and healthy and that patient care is in fact delivered in Rhode Island and that includes specialty care. So I leave it to the regulators. Those are the broad issues uh, that I think are important that have to be considered. I know that Brown has an interest and I think that interest is, is legitimate and real. So. Um, my interest is always all things that are Rhode Island and, and things that serve our citizens. So uh, I will work with whoever um, you know, I can possibly work with. But this is primarily something that is the responsibility of the administration and our regulators and, and per, perhaps Le the Attorney General. Leader Shikachi, do you have a, a point of view on this in terms of? Similar, similar point of view of the speaker. Uh, obviously, we're concerned about the quality of health care and the jobs. But I want to point out it's really not a legislative issue. It's a regulatory issue between the Department of Health and the Attorney General. And they'll make the decision. I mean, unless a, a special bill were to be introduced to change that process, we don't really have a role. Obviously, it doesn't mean we're not concerned. We are concerned. I think everyone up here is concerned what's going to happen to the health care system in Rhode Island. So we're looking at it. We're monitoring it. I know Brown has uh, uh, partnered with someone else and has expressed an interest. But my understanding is that Care New England's under some kind of an agreement, a comprehensive agreement with partners to uh, go forward. So until something changes, our role is really observatory at this point. It's not a legislative issue per se at this moment. So we'll have to just wait and see and monitor it. I, I agree with the comments made by the speaker and the majority leader. Listen, the delivery of health care in medical services is changing every day. We have small hospitals like Wesley Hospital purchased by Yale New Haven. Hospitals are going to get gobbled up and the, even the mid-sized hospitals are going to get gobbled up. It's going to happen. They cannot, they cannot continue to operate independently, some of these smaller hospitals and mid-sized hospitals. But we as legislators, while we're not involved in that regulatory process, have to be concerned peripherally about potential job losses, how it affects our constituents, 
And at the end of the day, what the makeup of the market's going to be in the state, it's going to change drastically. It has changed. I mean, I sat on the board of directors of Wesley Hospital for many years. At one time, a market never had a market itself. Excuse me, a hospital never had a market itself. Today, it's a very competitive business. You have Yale New Haven coming in the south. You have Hartford Hospital sitting up in Hartford somewhere looking where they're going to come in. You have potential Boston Hospital coming into uh, uh, Warwick area. The, the makeup and the landscape is going to change, folks. It's going to change. We as legislators, I agree with the speaker, have to be concerned in how it affects our constituents, employees. There's a whole host of issues. While, again, while we're not involved in the regulatory process, there'll be some uh, consequences and some, some effects that we'll see with, uh, and hear from our constituents. I, I, yep. I think we do have a role when it comes to the budget. Um, there's been some actions in the budget that I think have actually weakened our our health care system. Uh, Medicaid rates have been cut to doctors. The hospitals have been frozen. Uh, nursing homes have hurt. So all of those actually have an effect. They, our hospitals, my local hospital is Kent, and I know that it is, is part of Care New England. They've suffered. Uh, when you put additional financial, uh, well, take money away from the health care industry, and put additional burdens on, on the hospitals and nursing homes, then, then it has an effect. And it has that ripple effect that is going to, going to hurt all of our constituents, all the people of Rhode Island. So we do have a role there to make sure that we are not making changes in the budget that hurt them further. Um, there is an access, there's a, a crisis in access to care now. A lot of people have Medicaid cards, but they can't find doctors who will treat them. And that's because rates have been frozen and actually cut to doctors. So we do have a role there. Um, as far as who ends up you know, buying uh, Care New England, that is a regulatory issue. But as a budget, making sure that our healthcare system is, is healthy and well-funded and that hospitals aren't looking to the commercial market to make up for what they're losing in the Medicaid market, we have a role there.